so this is pretty interesting welcome back my friends june 18th 2021 10 28 a.m and you are looking at the biggest earthquake to strike the state of indiana in over 11 years and if you also notice we are set to one day magnitudes 2.5 and above and the reason this is more significant than usual i know we do get earthquakes here on the eastern side of the united states underneath the great lakes but there's a lot more going on than meets the eye here on this chart now even if i go over here and click one day all magnitudes all we see is this one 3.8 Indiana earthquake 7.7 kilometers in depth very shallow quake for this area you do not see earthquakes of this size too often in the center part of the state and this 3.8 earthquake is not even close to the only thing going on in this area not by a long shot take a look at this I have brought us over to the volcano and earthquakes.com seismic chart I'm sure a lot of you know about this but right off the bat we see a significant difference and that is that this chart is showing a separate earthquake this time a few miles to the south and to the west into the state of Illinois and then we also had an earthquake just take place about 20 minutes ago in Michigan just north of Detroit so really quickly we're gonna go ahead and click the information for this original 3.8 earthquake in Indiana you could see nearly 4,000 people reporting having felt this quake and also when you jump onto Twitter all you can see is people from the area and seismologists and things like that talking about this very super rare earthquake especially based on the size and the location of where it was in fact you could see here on this tweet it was felt all the way up in Chicago after it was readjusted to a 3.8 magnitude earthquake okay so what am I getting at here basically what I want to show you guys is that yes this one here is reported by the USGS the 3.8 the major quake there's no denying that way too many people felt it but but as I showed you just a moment ago, over here we have another earthquake chart that kind of gives us a little bit more detail. We've had a lot more movement going on in the eastern United States as a whole than I really thought. What I'm going to do now is show you that that Indiana earthquake that took place right around where this hand mark is, is not on this map because I have this set for the last eight hours. So over the last eight hours, we've had an earthquake in southern Illinois and then up in Michigan. Now, in my opinion, both of these quakes are directly related to the aftermath of that original 3.8. And I can show you that here. Take a look at how many earthquakes have actually taken place in the last 24 hours underneath the Great Lakes between Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, up into Michigan. And then if I jump all the way to our seven days all magnitudes chart, we can see that the Northeast specifically has been getting hit with a few more earthquakes than normal. We actually made videos about some of these, specifically the one in New Jersey. And then there was some confusion about this second one, whether it actually took place in Eastern Pennsylvania or in Western New Jersey. So let's talk about that for a second. In the last seven days, that's a lot of earthquakes to take place in the Northeast. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in here so we can get a better orientation of what we're looking at now we are more used to seeing the Oklahoma earthquakes we talk about that pretty often and then we do tend to see the western Tennessee and Kentucky areas closer to the Mississippi River do get more seismic activity than the Northeast does but now focusing on this area just take a look at this there's definitely more seismic activity going on than normal especially with an earthquake a 3.8 earthquake it was probably bigger than that it was probably closer to a 4.0 in Indiana that original earthquake and now it might be a little confusing as to which one of these was actually the reported 3.8 and that would be this one right here as close to the state line to Illinois as you can get this was the original quake 19 hours ago as you can see magnitude 3.8 7.7 kilometers or 4.8 miles in depth very very shallow which is why a lot of people felt this and then afterwards we started seeing basically what I would call aftershocks in the immediate area yes it does extend out a couple states but we need to understand that we're looking at an overall area as opposed to individual states another thing I want to point out to people is that the reason or at least what seems to be the reason that we don't see every one of these quakes verified and certified on the USGS as we see right here in fact I can even go to seven days all magnitudes and all we really see is that Indian a quake we see that small swarm by the Tennessee and Kentucky or Mississippi River area and then we see a few way up to the Northeast in Canada with one in New York so a lot of missing data going on right here especially underneath the Great Lakes you can search on Twitter people definitely felt that Michigan quake that literally took place about an hour ago as of the posting of this video take a look at the details here 29 minutes ago actually so around 10 10 a.m. here Eastern Standard Time on June 18th there was an earthquake felt it is still unspecified as far as the depth and the magnitude is unspecified but people absolutely felt this as well as all of these so we're talking 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 
12 earthquakes just in the immediate area as a result of that super rare 3.8 to 4.0 earthquake taking place right on the border of the state with Illinois. And I'm not just saying that's rare for no reason. I've been researching this and it is super rare. In fact, the biggest earthquake to ever take place in Indiana was a 5.1, I believe. So this thing's definitely going to raise some attention. It's going to be in the news. I mean, I'm sure there wasn't a lot of damage or anyone hurt or anything like that, but it's the fact that it happened and then to see these other quakes popping up. I mean, any other time this would happen, I would be posting on it right away and it just hasn't happened like this in a long time. We haven't seen this many frequent earthquakes in a rare area such as Indiana and the surrounding areas with just a little more earthquakes than we're used to. I think that so many of us are used to seeing all the action on the west side and then within the ring of fire where we have most of our volcanoes and most of our major earthquakes taking place along the Pacific Ocean that whenever we do have an earthquake on the east coast it's really not looked at too often because they're usually infrequent they don't come in bulk but now we're starting to see a different story with I'm going to go ahead and say two different events we had that northeast event which I believe were all connected up into Canada with the two New Jersey quakes and eastern Pennsylvania there was a quake that we felt here in northeast Pennsylvania specifically and then just yesterday this Indiana quake taking place with a lot of action going on around it including Michigan and Illinois and really quick for those of you interested in reading about this here is a news article that was put out Indiana's strongest earthquake in more than a decade send ripples into Illinois and Michigan so we can see even before the Michigan earthquake took place today they were almost expecting a push up to the north as far as the pressure goes but I'll link this down in the info box for you guys to take a look at all right my friends thank you so much hope everyone's safe any other info on this I will certainly bring it to you I'll be back later have a good day bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed